저 인수 원장님 안녕하세요. 네, 안녕하세요. 네. 역시 시작하기 전 자기 소개 부탁드리겠습니다. 네, Hello, I'm So Inso, a plastic surgery specialist from Sun Plastic Surgery. 네, 우리 오늘 이제 고성형 수술을 얘기할 건데 네. 일단 한국화 성형이 그 고조 어떤 거 다르실까요? 아, first of all, the nose consists of a bone on the top, then a cartilage in the middle, and the end cartilage. So it is composed with three parts. The structure is similar, but compared to Westerners, Koreans have thicker skin and smaller cartilage. In other words, Westerners compared to Koreans have thinner skin with bigger bones and have thicker and larger cartilage as well. So it is important to proceed with the procedure considering these things. 아, It's the same for Koreans, but before the procedure, we'll first need to have a clear understanding of what the patients want and try to meet their needs. Koreans, Asians, tend to have more of the lifting of the nose bridge, whereas Westerners tend to lessen the look of their hooked nose. Or, either they tend to want to fix the base of their nose. So, it is very important to understand exactly what the patients want from the procedure. And also, as their skin is much thinner, we need to be cautious about implanting too many implants. Of course, whichever procedure it may be, it all has risks and it may come with post-operative discomforts and complications. But the most common side effects for rhinoplasty is when we place the implants, such as silicone or Gore-Tex, which may cause inflammation in the body. So that's one thing that could happen. Also, when we manipulate excessive amounts of the bone or cartilage in the nose, it may excessively push the bone inside, or cutting too much cartilage. There can be a problem in function and appearances, so we need to be careful. When it comes to trends, I've been asked that for the past 20 years, asking what the latest trend is, but there is no trend. Some people want fancy noses, some want natural noses, and some want to have higher noses, and some want to improve only the shape. There's a direction that each person wants to improve. It's best to do surgery considering those things. And people used to bring celebrity photos. Nowadays, it's more of Instagrammers or YouTubers. Some would bring a photo of them and ask if they can have their nose during the consultation. Reasons of getting a revision surgery. There are some cases that cause inflammation or bending after the procedure. So, a revision surgery would be performed. And another reason is when the surgery result didn't turn out the way the patient wanted. So they're disappointed or unpleased with the result. They'll undergo a revision surgery, usually cases for inflammation and construction is not the main problem. In my experience, some patients are displeased about the shape and wish for the remodeling. And also, after 10 to 20 years after the surgery, as the time passes, the face shape will eventually change. So they wish to remodel the nose shape to match their changed face. So that's one of the reasons why patients undergo on a revision surgery. There's very few scarring. Basically, there's columella underneath the nose. We will cut this area and then suture it. After suturing, any body part, such as arms and eyes, will not recover perfectly as before the suture. It needs time to recover. Therefore, it can be reddish for months, or it can look a bit out of shape and firm. But after 6 to 12 months, it is rarely visible. And aside from that, it is possible to cover it with the makeup. So, you should not worry about scarring. Mm. Yes, 
and there are more patients with this way of surgery. Asians tend to have a low nose bridge, so they want to increase the height of it. Therefore, they'll undergo a cartilage transplant or injecting artificial implants. For Westerners structurally, they usually have Roman nose rather than a low bridge of the nose. It's either the bone of the nose is wide, bent, or the bridge of the nose is a bit drooping. Those reasons are why they want rhinoplasty instead of using artificial implants. So far, the procedures I have performed to my Western patients did not use any artificial implants. Usually, we cut out the hook part of the Roman nose and then fix the drooping edge. And if the patient wants to increase the height somewhere, then instead of using the artificial implants, we use the patient's cartilage and it is enough to cover the part. Artificial implants are unnecessary. However, it is used for patients with extreme low nose. And overall, Western patients don't tend to use implants. So the procedure is performed mostly with the implants. Normally, we tape bandages for about five days after the surgery. And then, removing the stitches in the nose will be done after 10 days. So, about two weeks. I recommend staying for about 10 days to two weeks. Because we need to see the shape of the nose and remove the stitches on it. It's convenient for the patients. So, I recommend staying for about 10 days to two weeks, if that's possible. I would say at least a week would be good. This was So and So, a plastic surgery specialist from Sun Plastic Surgery. See you next time. See you soon.